Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial series by Robots in Motion. This is my fifth video tutorial in this series. As you all know, the name of this uh, video channel is Robots in Motion. So I thought this would be fairly insane if I don't show you how you can uh, use recording to set a robot into motion. So fortunately, I got this uh, CAD model of Qka uh, robot uh, from the internet, and I simulated it in uh, recording. So in this tutorial, you will see how you can simulate this Qka robot using recording. So this is the final end product video uh, simulation. You can see the free fall of Qka robot under gravity. Uh, this is a simple six axis robot just like Puma. So let's start this from scratch. Uh, let's start a new model. Name it as Qka1. Click OK. Now let's import the uh, STP file of that uh, robot. Go to import option. Select this STP file. And click on open button it will take some time I'm converting the HTTP file to .rdyn file so you can see the conversion has been done uh, so let's convert it into a solid model by clicking on the sh shade button yeah so the robot model has been successfully imported into a recording environment. Let's see what we have in our database. Oh, there are around some 15 to 16 parts of this robot. So we need to basically define the joints between each of these parts. So after uh, first you need to uh, before the joint definition. Uh, first you need to know the joint axis of all the uh, six joints so I will tell you one by one the first joint axis is this one the second joint axis is this one the third joint axis is here the fourth is here fifth one is here and the sixth one is uh, is the tool frame you can see this light green part uh, this dark green part and light green part has a have a revolute joint between them so now let's fix the stationary parts using uh, using this fixed joint button I think uh, let's uh, choose the set the modeling option first choose it as body multi body now we will fix this one and this one click on finish operation now you can see one more part here this maroon colored object and this green object also need to be fixed so select these two objects click finish operation uh, this blue motor is to be fixed with this base link finish now this motor needs to be fixed with this link finish now this motor needs to be link needs to be fixed uh, needs to be fixed with this link uh, so let's fix it now fix all these three motors oh I forgot to finish the operation I think let's fix this two first click on finish operation now fix all these 
three motor all all three motors with this length. Similarly for this one. Now for this one. And this uh, fix this green part with this brown one. Decrease the marker size so that it increase the visibility. Yeah. So you can see uh, the stationary parts have been fixed. Now we need to create six revolute joints between these links. The first revolute joint will, will be between these two links. So I will create it. Uh, you need to change the modeling option here. Choose body body point direction. Okay. Uh, so now we need to select the first body, second body. Then you need to select the point. So to select the required point you need to uh, go on the periphery of a circular entity so uh, I have selected this circular entity so the center of this uh, circular entity is selected as the point you need to define the you need to define the direction so the direction is Z1 Z direction. So let's give it here. Now let's define the second joint. Uh, the second joint needs to be defined between this green link and the red link. Click on revolute joint icon. Select the two bodies. Uh, Somehow select some select the required point. Yeah, let's select the origin of this marker. Uh, I will increase the marker size first so that you can properly see what I am doing. Yeah, so I am selecting this point and let's define the direction along this y axis now we will quickly define the other joints also the third joint is between uh, this brown link and the red link I've chosen the point as this one and direction is the same and zero one zero Okay, so now let's define our fourth joint. Select body, this body, point, direction as zero, zero, one, z axis. Now let's go to the fifth joint. Yeah. Quickly select revolute joint icon. Select body. Now select points. Now give the direction as z axis. Finally, let's define the fifth joint. It's a little difficult to yeah so you can see the this la these last two links let's make a joint between these two also i've selected these two parts and now the this or this point and direction same 0 comma 0 comma 1 yeah so So in this database, you can see 
you can see the six joints and eight fixed joints are created so let's do a free fall simulation of this click on simulate button I need to save this first the simulation is being done ok let's play this hopefully it will work oh oops i forgot to fix this and green link with the ground so let's make a uh, a fixed joint between this green link and the ground click on finish operation now let's simulate it again hopefully now it will work oh, again one part created the problem I think I didn't fix, fix this motor so let's fix it again this one this one finish operation now simulate it again okay so let's see the animation yeah now it's working fine okay so let me check the direction of gravity yeah so the gravity is in minus y direction let's make it in minus z direction minus 9806.6 let's simulate it again yeah so now let's check the motion So since no contact is defined between these links, uh, these links get passed through each other when they collide with each other. So now we will see how we can create contacts between two links. Uh, go to this contact tab and click solid button. Now whichever links you think can collide. Uh, define a 3D con uh, solid solid contact between those two links. So let's select these two first. Now click on this icon again. Now select these two links. Now again select these two links again select let's zoom a little bit these two these two links I think these many solid contacts are enough now let's simulate it again it will take some time yeah so it took some 3 minutes time to do the calculation so that's why I paused this video let's see the animation you can see the parts are colliding and are not passing through each other let's change the view Wait. this view would be better let's simulate this You can see uh, the, the solid contacts and that uh, we defined made our robot work like this. Yeah. So you can define some more solid contact between each of these uh, links uh, to prevent uh, the collision of uh, to prevent the passing of each link through the other 
so uh, using this you can plot various uh, you can do the forward kind of, uh, dynamic simulation also uh, you can simply define the joint motions at each joint and you can get the uh, torque versus time plot at each joint so this will help you optimize the design of your robot and uh, using the cooling toolkit in this recording software you can also define the control for uh, control for your robots thanks for watching this tutorial hope you have learned a lot thank you again okay.